I did continue to work on the garden, trying to get it cleaned out, all of my boxes, for a few days, and I've made a lot of progress. So I am ready to start getting some seeds sown, both inside and out. And I thought that I would come in before I concluded that video and show you my seeds. Hey, 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 look out, my camera. Girl, you need to move. Ginger wants to play with the camera. Um, anyways, uh, I've noticed online a lot of people are showing their seed hauls for the year. They've purchased a bunch of seeds and got them all in. Well, I got some too, but I didn't get many. I got a few. For the most part, I have enough seeds to last me for several years, so I don't generally have to buy a lot, but I did get a few that um, I was running low on or I was out, so I thought I would show you what I've gotten. Um, I got two packs. These are all from Baker Creek Seeds. Two packs of paprika. I love to grow paprika peppers, and I use them a lot for my cooking. I got some purple cabbage. Ginger, don't bump my camera. I got some purple lettuce. I was out of chamomile. And boy, it don't feel like much is in here, but I got a pack of chamomile. I got some holy basil. Two packs of um, it's called patty pan. It's a scalloped squash. These are really good. This was a free gift from them for ordering, and it's tiny little, it's called spoon tomatoes. I've never grown these, but I'll give it a try. They look like little miniature cherry tomatoes. And some red okra. This is really good, and it actually grows faster and better than the green okra. I'll grow the green as well, but that's all the seeds that I ordered for the year. And with these, along with what I already have, I've got several, if not three or four years worth of seeds stocked up. So let me show you my seed collection. I've got them in all these cases. These are photo cases, and of course I like to decorate, so I pre put pretty little garden decorations on them. But with these cases, I can keep all of my seeds organized, fairly organized. They get out of order. I keep them in alphabetical order, such as green beans, and the cases are a plastic, but they seal up pretty good. And there's room for several either um, of the same varieties or different varieties of seeds. And I use a white paint pen and I write um, particular information that I want to just keep on, you know, the top of my head because I can't remember all the details of everything that goes into gardening and seeds. So important information like germination, how long it'll take and the harvest time and any special instructions. For example, beans have to be soaked overnight. And then I've got um, companions written on the back. Think, you know, companion planting. So it's a list of all the things that can be planted near. On all these seeds, I have color codes. I don't know if it's easy to see on the camera. And I know the camera is probably backwards with the writing. But I have color codes on all of my seeds. These are dates, dates that I can plant them. And so particular uh, times of the year, everything that has these two colors, like for February, I have a particular color designated for February. So I can come in here and pull out all the seeds that have February's color. That way I can keep up with what needs to be planted when it needs to be planted. In one of the cases, let me see, here it is. 
these are the months with the colors. So for January through March, I will set out, uh, start things in the greenhouse that all have a green dot. And February through April would be a black dot, or a blue, or a red, or an orange, and a gray. And I even have a purple. This is for all year long. Because I do have a greenhouse, I can grow stuff all year. And um, these color codes help me keep up with when to set seeds out. So I have three, four, five of these cases. Most of them are vegetables, but I do have one case with herbs, one case plus this small container with these are flower herbs these are herb herbs they're all herbs but that's all the herbs those two things there and all of the cases are pretty full and like i said i've got enough to last me several years and these are seeds i have collected for years and kept organized these little containers like this I have a bunch of these um, not everything is is in here I just brought it things in to get organized for what I'm about to set out but um, I have a bunch of these outside in my barn this is just a small selection these are flowers and what I put them in are little plastic cases these are chewing gum cases the brand was extra I love these cases because they're very durable and they will hold several packs of seed so I write on the case what they are this is sunflower and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen these are empty um, 16, 18, about 18 of these will stay in one case. And I have collected these things for 10 years from the kids buying chewing gum. And whenever they buy chewing gum, they come in these cases and I would not let them throw them away. I made them save them. And every time they had them, I just kept collecting them and using them for my seeds. Some of these seeds right here are very old because I've had them a long time. Um, because you don't have to plant the whole pack. And in this case, I've got one, two, three, four, five. Five sunflowers. So one or two out of each pack will, you know, produce a lot of sunflowers. And then, like I said, I've got a, a bunch of these. I've probably got five or six of these particular totes that have flowers in the seed packet. Now I've got some larger totes, the regular totes like you would pack things and store things in your attic in. And those are full of just loose seeds that I have saved from my garden. One tote in particular large tote um, is full of nothing but zinnia seeds and so um, I don't know how many generations worth of seeds if they store and keep and and will germinate um, I have more seeds than I will ever plant myself I want to show you my garden book this is how I keep myself organized and unfortunately look at that my dog's got a hold of it. I need to replace it. This is pretty old too. Um, maybe seven, eight years old for this particular binder. It's a three ring binder. And I keep all of my garden notes, drawings and layouts. I keep last year's, well actually... I just cleaned this out a few weeks ago and I had garden layouts for
from all the way back to 2013. Each year I keep those so that I can look at them in case I decide I want to redo something from years ago in the design. So, um, but I cleaned it out and right now I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here, but I do keep notes because I can't remember stuff. It's just too much. I mean, if you want to get good at it, there's a lot of details. I may, I may be sitting in the dentist office or doctor's office and there'll be a, you know, a magazine with something of interest to me. So I'll sit there and jot it down. Well, these days, I actually just take a, a picture on my phone, but I come home and I write it down because I like to keep things um, written in pen and paper fashion. These are little pockets where I can keep the notes with tabs. That's bell peppers. And I just stuff it full constantly, full of information that I don't want to lose. This is a list of companion plants. I want to keep up with those. I do a lot of companion planting and a lot of flowers in between my vegetables and gardens. But for every vegetable that I plant, I don't have anything in here for flowers, but just my vegetables, I have a pocket with a tab and a place to keep the notes. Let me find something that's not just empty tabs. I've even got my fruit trees in here. My um, pears and plums and apples and my berry bushes. My potatoes. Um, I've got a tab for pest control. Trying to do things organically. Sometimes you can't. I have uh, a tab on snakes. We actually have a lot of snakes on the property. And they, these are pages, identification pages for um, snakes, um, raspberries, pest management. And then the final tab in the back is just full of past the little, um, the little uh, things that come in the pots that you might buy from the store. If they're of interest or something has notes on it that I'm worried I'll forget, I will keep it. I'll also keep it as a reminder when I'm looking through during the winter, I'll look through things that I had years ago. And if it's something I really liked, then I'll pull it out. It's a reminder that, hey, I want to do that again. I want to grow that again. And you can see the, the dogs have chewed on. They got a hold of it one day and really made a mess of it. I need to make me a new one. Just hadn't got around to it. This is just pointless pages back here in the front I have a planting guide this is from our local seed company and it just has the dates of when to plant seeds I have these things all over the place though I have it on a phone app as well stickers that I use and little sticky notes so that um, I can keep up with things or tag things but that is a three three inch um, three ring binder and then these are just quick notes of what I'm about to plant this week but I wanted to show y'all my seed collection. I'm pretty proud of that. It's an ongoing project. I've been collecting seeds for, oh my gosh, I don't know how long, but in excess of 20 years. And I've got a bunch of seeds as well in my freezer 
and some of those seeds go back to the 80s. They were Kevin's dad's seeds, and I have planted some of those every year. It's mostly green beans, the Kentucky Wonder, and some pinto beans, and I don't have a bit of problem germinating those. And um, I got a, so I got a big stash of those in the freezer. If your seeds are kept dry, um, the proper temperature, whether in the freezer or a good dry storage that's not too hot or too cold, those seeds will last indefinitely. Sometimes you will um, have a small decrease in germination but most of the time those seeds will still sprout. I don't throw any seeds away. Seeds will last a long time. I don't throw any seeds away. I would rather plant them and take a chance just to see if they will sprout rather than throw them away. Even seeds that's accidentally gotten damp or wet, and I've done that. Um, I've still planted them and had a pretty good germination rate, so um, don't throw any seeds away. Just because they're old or have some age on them does not mean they're not going to sprout. This is the conclusion of this video and my seed sharing. Get to gardening. It's time. The weather is turning good. Bye.